guys, welcome to Across RC US. Again, this is Sean. Had a request the other day from someone to show the differences between the SR and the SG line of cross trucks. So, got a couple of them here. I figured kind of go through them real quick, show you the basic main differences. Um, what you're looking at here is the SR4A and an SG4C. The A being the baseline, the G being the top of the line. Uh, biggest difference is really the chassis are identical on the SGs and SRs. The shocks are identical. Um, on the SR, you will get aluminum drive shafts and typically plastic axles. Obviously, this one has been upgraded to metal axles. These are actually the ones out of the HC4. They do actually fit. Um, on the SGs, you will get steel drive shafts. And then, of course, this being the C, you get the aluminum axles uh, as well as the steel drive shafts. Something else in the A models, obviously, this is going to be a Lexan body. This lifts off here. Your transmission housing and your transfer case are going to be plastic, whereas on the SGs, I believe it's the C and the B model, get the, uh, I believe it's steel. I know this one has the steel. You can't see because I think I showed you in the other video. These have the engine detail cover that covers the motor and speed control. So all that stuff is hidden. Um, again, this is where Cross recommends you put your speed control. The receiver in this one is actually inside the windshield because it keeps it out of the water. This is actually my truck. This is actually Bob's. Um, other big differences are obviously you can see that with the, the, uh, the Lexan body, the hard body is going to be a little bit more difficult to remove if you have to do maintenance in the back of the bed on the SRs and the SGs. You also see some differences. They both do have a spare tire carrier. The SRs is inside this plastic cage. There is a fake fuel uh, tank that comes along with the kit. And this is just bolted on with four screws. On the SG, you have dual fuel cans. You have the toolbox in the back. That can actually double as a battery tray if you have a small enough battery. The roll cage. Um, one of the biggest differences, this cage being plastic. This one's actually metal. Now the interior roll cage, the red part you see in here, this is actually plastic, but the door panels are actually, or the door bars, I should say, are actually metal. So that's kind of a neat upgrade. Obviously, you get the full interior in the SGs with the full lit dash. So at night, you get the instrument panel that lights up. Um, the SRs obviously aren't going to have that, but you do get headlights and the taillight in the SR, uh, as well as headlights and taillights in the SG. Uh, my truck has been driven. Bob hasn't driven his yet. Uh, <laughs> just had to point that out. Um, plastic rock sliders on the SR, steel ones on the SG. Um, and now the one other thing you'll kind of note if you look at these here, put the body back on so this thing isn't so, so hideous. Uh, when you get the SGs, if you get the SGB, SG4B, B model, you will get this winch. This is just a more of like a classic looking metal bodied winch. When you go with the C model, the SG4C, you get the CNC machined aluminum winch. And we've actually had really good luck with these winches. They are nice and strong. Um, the cord on them is a really fine thin metal wire. Uh, almost feels not quite like steel. You can tell it's stronger than steel. Uh, but it doesn't do all that uh, weird balling that sometimes you see with steel cables. Uh, trying to think what else might be some major differences between the two of them. Like I said, 90% of it's actually the same truck. Just when you go with the SRs, the hard body, and then some of the option pieces you get as you go up the, uh, the line from the A to the B to the C. And those being basically, like I said, the transmission, the, diff the uh, transfer case. Plastic versus metal axles, plastic wheels versus aluminum wheels. The A's will all come with plastic wheels. Even in the G model, I believe they're plastic wheels. 
you have to get the D in higher to get the aluminum wheels and the C to get the aluminum axles. Um, as you can see on this truck here, we have the cross axle weights in the rear. So those are a nice hop up. They are on the website. You guys can check them out there. Um, this is kind of an interesting little tidbit of information. Some of you might have seen one of my earlier videos. The uh, chassis stiffener kit was actually, this is actually something I did myself before we knew the chassis stiffener kit was even available because I bent one of those links the first comp I went up with. Um, so yeah, there's not really much else to say about the differences. Um, on the G's, you saw the battery tray on this is right underneath the cab. On the G's, you remove the uh, spare tire. There's a plate that lifts out. Um, like I said, right now, you can actually use this as the battery tray. In fact, there's a three cell lipo in here right now that Bob is running this truck on. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I am going to be doing a video probably tomorrow to show you how the motor and transmission actually go together and then show you the internals of that. Uh, I had someone else ask me what that looks like. It is kind of a different setup. Sorry, there's a battery charger going off next to me. Um, it is kind of a different setup with the internal gears and the helical cut pinions, um, but it's really kind of a neat idea the way they have it really compact with no slipper clutch. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Uh, I will you know, try to get back to you guys as soon as I can. But then, like I said, SRs and SGs, Chassis are almost identical, just a few differences cosmetically with the bodies and the accessories that you can get. Alright, thanks guys. Have a good one.